Hey everybody and welcome back to another Binding of Isaac Top 10 video. Today we're looking at the Top 10 Ludovico Technique Synergies. The Ludovico Technique was based off of an aversion therapy in the novel A Clockwork Orange, but we really don't care about that. What we care about is the Isaac item Ludovico Technique, which is frankly about as controversial as it is in the novel. I personally love Ludo, but I know a lot of people that do not, and instead think its best synergy is the D6, if you catch my drift. Hopefully this video shows you that there's actually a ton of synergies that make Ludo overpowered. Like seriously, this one surprised me immensely, there's so many amazing synergies. Even then, it should be noted that this is my opinion for the top 10, and you may disagree with some of the synergies on the list, or tell me that I forgot some. That's okay, just let me know your reasoning in the comment section down below. Let's hop right in. Caution, you're screwed if you take this. Our second installment of the caution section. These are items that are so detrimentally bad with Ludo that I honestly feel you should never even remotely think about taking them. My opinion also barely matters though, so I'll let you guys decide. Mom's Knife. Oh look, Mom's Knife in another caution list. I admit, this is a horrible synergy with Mom's Knife yet again. Apparently, upon picking up Mom's Knife with Ludo, you get a... freaking 9 billion shot speed down? <laughs> it makes it damn near impossible to do any damage with the knife, and you're ultimately screwed if anything chases you. Which is like, 90% of the enemies in the game. Explosivo. Okay, this is one of the more controversial members of this list. You might personally think that this is a good synergy. I do not. When putting your Ludo tier on an enemy, it has a chance to activate Explosivo, which will then reset where your tier is and bring it back to your body. This lessens your ability to successfully do consistent damage since you have less control over the tier. It does do good damage since you have a lot of Explosivo shots, but I personally think it hurts to use. See for yourself. The Wiz or Hookworm. You're probably wondering how this one's bad. The Wiz adds an extra tier, it should just do more damage. If you're watching the video, you can see that I'm still hitting stuff on the screen. How is this bad, Tyler? Well, thanks for asking. I'm in hell controlling this right now. The tiers move at 45 degree angles by default when picking up the Wiz, and it just makes it significantly harder to hit things because you have weird angles going on and you're controlling. It sucks, and you don't want to deal with it even if it gives you that extra tier. As for Hookworm, I mean, honestly, just think about it. It synergizes, and thus, it really sucks. Tiny Planet. Ironically, my last Top 10 Synergies video appears in my caution list for this one. Yes, your Ludo tier will attempt to orbit like Tiny Planet. It can be pretty fun to fight it, but ultimately, like, it's really, really bad. It's hard to control, and it's ultimately just not very good. Honorable Mentions. Dust Touch. I mean, it's hard to ever complain about having Dust Touch, and honestly, the main reason it's here is because it just looks dope. Like, you just have a spinning scythe the entire time. All the time. Obviously, it does pretty good damage as well because it is Dust Touch, but it's really just here because it looks cool. Is that lame? Do you guys hate me for that? Probably, but oh well. Number 1. Say hello to the first and last time this item will ever be in a top 10 synergy list, but honestly, it's surprising how good it is with Ludo. A lot of people will take number 1 whenever possible simply because it is a very good tiers upgrade. The only thing that will scare people away from number 1 is the huge range downgrade. Oh look, a stat that doesn't affect Ludo. This just gives you a really nice tiers up with Ludo, which can really do good damage. Number 10, Soy Milk. Oh Soy Milk, how I love you. We just talked about how good a tier upgrade is with Ludo, and there's really no better tier upgrade than Soy Milk. Since it removes the awful knockback of soy milk, this becomes a very constant array of damage on enemies. It's very satisfying to watch soy milk melt enemies, and with a couple of damage upgrades, this can be incredibly good on a Ludo run. On its own though, plenty enough to make it at number 10. Number 9, 2020 Inner Eye or Mutant Spider. We already talked about the Wiz having the benefit of giving two tiers, so obviously there's some benefit in having two, three, or even four tiers. This is another synergy on the list primarily for it looking really cool, but it can do good damage too. When you have 2020 Inner Eye and Mutant Spider, 
You have some nucleus looking crazy town going on that has many spiraling circles going nuts. It doesn't seem as powerful as it could be, uh, thus it can't get much higher on this list. Number 8, Strange Attractor. You're probably surprised that this is this low or high depending on how you look at it on this list. Yes, there are a lot of other great Ludo synergies. This one is really good. It's one of those rare synergies that takes two items that can normally be considered bad and it makes them good when combined together. Just throw your Ludo into an area of the room and then let the enemies get attracted to it. The only issue with this synergy is that it won't always work on bosses and there's a chance it won't work on regular enemies either. It's a bit inconsistent, but when it works, it's a lot of fun. Number 7, Lump of Coal. This is like another really good Ludo synergy. You're gonna find quickly that these are all really, really good. The reason for this being this far down the list is that it still requires you to be good at using Ludo, which many people can't stand. Since the tier gets more powerful the further you are from it, you can stand in the corner and do massive amounts of damage to everyone in the room. Once again, some people will disagree since it really doesn't change Ludo, but it does change the base item significantly and makes it better. Man, we take Lump of Coal for granted. Number 6, Dr. Fetus. Surprise, Dr. Fetus isn't in a not top 10 list. This could arguably be the best Dr. Fetus synergy actually. When you fire the bomb out, you're able to control where it goes for a solid 1-2 to two seconds before it explodes. You're probably like, Tyler, Strimmer, what are you talking about man, 1-2 to two seconds is nothing. You don't understand, it's so much time and you can really guide the bomb exactly where you want it. It'll do really good explosive damage and it keeps you from getting hit by Dr. Fetus. It's a great synergy. Number 5, Brimstone. Once again, it's tough for this to drop this low on the list and frankly when you see number 1 you may say, Hey idiot, Brimstone could be number 1 on this list. But let's be fair, everyone has a desire to not have Brimstone sit at the top of a synergy list, so I'm not going to put it there. It's really good though, we control a giant Brimstone circle that you can place on enemies to decimate them. It takes up a large majority of the screen which makes it easier to hit things and it's just a great Ludo and Brimstone synergy. Number 4, Cricket's Body and Parasite. This is one of those synergies where some people will hate me since it includes two items, but I can reassure you that they're good on their own as well. Every tier will split whenever a tick passes and it results in a ton of damage being done since those extra split tiers hit the enemy too. Pairing these two together makes it ridiculous as tiers continue to split left and right. You can then add compound fracture or even more tiers and it'll be ridiculous. Number 3, Angelic Prism and Tech Zero. Shoot me, another double synergy. You'll hate me for number one. But seriously, this one is really neat. It's not really all that practical without Tech Zero, but using thought, oh, oh my bad, Angelic Prism, so stupid, but using it you can fire out a crap load of shots by balancing Ludo on the Prism. This is easy to do in a room without enemies, but in a room with enemies, it's incredibly tough to use. Hey stupid, why is it so high on this list then? Well, just look at it with Tech Zero. Yeah, millions of lasers everywhere wrecking everything. Everything will be obliterated before it even gets close to you. That's a good synergy. Number 2, Monstro's Lung. This is one of those synergies that you expect to be good, but like, seriously, it's even better than just good. Since a bunch of shots now exist as your Ludo tier, they all do a lot of damage and decimate everything. You know the damage is crazy when just this singular item made it this far up on the list. Combining this item with Cricket's body or the Parasite legitimately can carry your run just these few items. It's super wild and a lot of fun. Number 1, Technology plus Homing Tears. Alright, 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 cue the Ooh, booze. Suck. A double synergy and one that can be remade with brimstone. However, allow me to justify. This synergy creates a giant tech X circle on the screen that sits and hits enemies on the screen similar to how brimstone did. Adding homing tears makes it home in and deal a stupid amount of damage to enemies. This is what true obliteration looks like. Granted, you can do something similar with brimstone, but there's something about doing with a large tech X circle, small bias since it's my favorite item, it's just a lot of fun and deserving of my number one on this list.
Hopefully this list gave you a new appreciation for the Ludovico technique as there are a lot of really good items that synergize with it to create an overpowered setup. I do also want to note that there's a way to change Ludo to be directed with your mouse instead of your keyboard. It can be found in the options file in your Isaac directory uh, and this can help make Ludo and Marked both easier to use for some people. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll be doing more top 10 synergy lists in the near future. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.